Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to have you join us today on the program Woman to Woman. I'm Adisu Walsa Wagir, the adorable. And today on Woman to Woman, we want to talk about something that is very important and quite exciting too. And that's cheating in a relationship. There are some persons that will cheat and say, no, I love my girl. What I'm doing is just one of those things, is a man thing. Others will say, oh, I love my wife. But you see, cheating on my wife, I'm not really cheating. I'm helping her, that kind of a thing. And you begin to wonder, what then is cheating? When people just see it as normal, normal thing. Some women even quarrel that their husbands are not cheating, you know. They don't do boys' things and all of that, you know. So what really is cheating in a relationship? And so we have quite a number of things to talk about today on the issue of cheating. So I have with me in the studio... Dokas Onoge, she is a public relations practitioner and of course a counsellor. And so together we're going to be talking about cheating today on the program. Dokas, what's up? It's been a while. Yeah. I'm so, so, super happy to see you today. It's good to be here It's too. been a long, long, long of time. Truly, thank But we'll give God the glory for everything. I know you are very religious, so all things work it together, together for, for good for good. those who love, love God. God. Yeah, so that is it. So today on the program, we're going to be talking about cheating. So talk as uh, a lot of persons have given us different definition of cheating. Like you, I was asking you, what's your definition of cheating? Because some persons have said it's a normal thing. It's becoming so normal for people to to commit adultery, to, to, to fornicate, all in the name of uh, having fun. So talk to me. Uh, for me, it's not a normal thing at all. Okay. It's not a normal thing because when you have an agreement to be with somebody, it shows that you have assessed the person and it's someone that you can be with for a long time. In terms of marriage, somebody you can live with throughout all your entire time on earth. Okay. So when you begin to see somebody else, it's abnormal because you have agreed that this, like a monogamy thing, you have agreed that in emotionally, financially, physically, and everything, you're going to be together. And now, you are bad on that agreement. That's vow you will have taken. And you begin to see somebody else outside. It's not normal. A normal person will not change. You cannot see a mango tree suddenly producing what? Purple fruits. The mango tree will keep on producing the mango tree. That's how I see relationship. That's how relationship should be. Relationship between husband and wife. If I agree that this is what we're going to do, it should continue in that line. So when you begin to change, it will be surprising for you to see a mango tree beginning to produce what? Purple fruits. So it's not a normal thing at all. Okay, now why do you think people cheat in a relationship, whether men or women? Because as it stands that men cheat, women also cheat, whether married or unmarried. You know, so why do you think people cheat in a relationship? Yeah, why, why, why do people cheat? There are a lot know? of reasons why people cheat. I wish I, I wish I really had a guy on set now to, to talk about this. So why do there people cheat? Lot, there are a lot of reasons why people cheat. Okay. One of them is lack of contentment. Long when, you are, when you are not contented with okay. what you have. Now you are in a relationship with somebody, the person had married you as a young lady or as a young man, mm. then you leave that person and started chatting, flirting with another person. Mm. If you are satisfied with what you have, you won't look out for another one. You are supposed to be satisfied with your partner. So when you are satisfied with your partner, the question of, uh, I'm not being satisfied, is only when you are beginning to compare that you begin to see lack of contentment. You know, a, lo a lot of men, let's, let's talk about men now before we go to women. A lot of men have said that, I, I, I cannot be eating your cross soup every day now. I need to eat some more, you know. <laughs> And you know that it's it's funny when they say that no we can we should you know let's eat ogbolo it's a good see not just ogbolo ogbolo all the time they become so so monotonous and you unexciting see, because one thing again we a lot of us don't know the sanctity of marriage 
we know the sanctity of marriage, how marriage is supposed to be. We won't talk about Obolo. We will not compare marriage relationship to Obolo. To mess soup. Oh, yes, to mess soup. So you are meant to change soup, but you're not meant to change your partner. Just like the way you cannot change yourself overnight. Mm. Today you are poor, tomorrow you are Peter, and the other day you are Sivado. You are not even supposed to change yourself. You are supposed to be you, you, you and you supposed at all time. You are time. supposed to be constant and consistent in being you. So the question of uh, you cannot be eating only, but it's, it's not, the person is just giving excuses to cheat. Is it, is, it, is it possible for spouses to be in a relationship and then claim to so love each other? Oh, yeah. Some person say, I'm so much into my wife. There's, I'm so much into my husband. But then they cheat on each other. Is it possible to be in love Good. and then cheat? Good. I want to answer that. You know, question. you are a counselor. So that's I, a, want to, is, I want to ask you something. Don't ask me. Can you enjoy you yourself? You love yourself so much. Yes. I believe you love yourself so much. Mm. You cannot just wake up, put iron in the fire and when the iron is ready you decide to put it to your body to, to burn, burn yourself why no i can't I can't burn myself so because i mean to understand that a woman and a woman who are married as well they've become one flesh they've become one so if you tell me you so much love your wife and you still go out to look for another girl that is carrying along with one that is working that has figure eight that shows you don't love the one you have at home you cannot be into somebody and cheat on that person. You cannot be into somebody and want to hurt the person because definitely when the person he knows about it, when your partner knows about it, she's going to be hurt. So anything so. that will break that, uh, her trust for you, anything that will make her feel she doesn't want it, anything that will make her feel inferior, anything that will make her feel that she's not good enough for you, it's not love, you're not, going to, it's not, you're not showing her love. Because for you to cheat on somebody, to me, is you don't love that person. You don't care about the person's feeling. You don't care how it's basically going to go to feel about the, what the person's ratio will be about finding out what you are doing with somebody else. Mm. So if you put all those things into consideration and you don't give, you don't care about how the partner will feel, then that means you don't love that partner. Mm. Because somebody you love, you don't want to hunt. Mm. Somebody you love, you, only, you, you will always want to see the person happy. Mm. Somebody you love, you always want to do things that will make the person happy. So, if anything you are doing, something that when she finds out, it will break her heart. It will make, it will, it will make her feel bad. It will hurt her deeply. Then that one can, is not love. It can love. even depress a woman. A lot of people go into depression because they so much put themselves into the relationship. They've given all they have. They've given them all. They've given them all, 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 of, all of them. They've given all they have. Now... You are cheating on that person. Because for you to look at another person, it shows that this person is not good enough for me. Let me go for somebody else. You know, you know, you know I've heard some men talk that uh, when they cheat, it adds to their age. It gives them longevity. You know, they are stress-free and all of that. Oh, the woman is stressing me at home. Let me go and get some relief somewhere. Pick up his shirt and don't go look for every excuse to live. Some have also said that, oh, the woman is now old. She cannot do 360 degree in the other room. Mm -hmm. I don't know. My cameraman is looking at me and laughing. I don't know why he's saying that, you know that uh, the woman cannot do I, I actually talked to somebody and said no no my wife no there are still some things my wife cannot do now so so my wife is now old-fashioned she cannot do what the gen z's do when it comes to sexual relationships and is that person if the wife is aware of those relationships that is into <laughs> and if she's aware what is her reaction to it Usually, the wife or the husband is usually the last person to know if his wife or uh, her husband, husband is, is cheating. cheating. It's the spouse that is usually the last person to know. Because so he, I cannot be asking him one of those questions. Yes, because if they get to know, you know, for some, there are, okay, there are situations that when you see, you can tell what will happen when the truth virtually comes out. Mm. Then you ask, if your wife gets to know about all these things you are doing, how will she feel? Some don't care. Let her go. So ja go, so ja come back with me. That is the attitude of That is why, because he, he doesn't love, he, he no longer loves her, cherishes her again. He no longer do that. 
If somebody you love, somebody you love, you will protect. What is love anyway? Does it exist? Sometimes I, I ask when things like this happen, I say, that love between the both of you, where did it fly to? It, it exists, but as time goes on, sometimes it dies. Interests begin to change. Values begin to change. The attraction begins to change. Somebody who does not like slim lady suddenly, suddenly because his wife is now extra, extra large, he suddenly finds interest in slim people. Mm -hmm. So as time goes on, interest or likeness begin to change. So such thing can happen. But for you to say that you love her, you just want to, you, there's no love there. There's no love there because who he or she that you love, you want to protect their interests at all costs. You want to make them happy. You want to see them happy. You don't want to do anything that will make them feel bad. Mm. Because when you come like this, when you come to your house, when you go out and come back, and you meet your wife not happy, of course, no matter the excitement you are coming in with, your own happiness too will dampen. So it's only when you create an atmosphere of love, laughter, happiness, that you two will get the laughter and happiness and joy in return. But when you don't create this, whereby you decide to abandon your wife, your lovely wife at home, and you decide to be flirting around with people that are not related to you. So they're not supposed to be part of the relationship to start with. And you are, these are the people you are not talking with, dealing with, the things you're supposed to be doing with your wife, you're doing, doing it with them. The woman's not only become a log of wood in the house, she won't be happy. A lot of women have gone into depression because of this. Mm. A lot of women Okay, now, have gone what are those depression. signs uh, somebody should look out for, whether man or woman, to know if his or her spouse is cheating? What are those telltale signs that, okay, mm. be like saying, be like say, if some women know that their husbands are cheating, but they turn deaf ears to it. But yeah. some men must not even perceive that, mm, Perceive a rat. They should not at all. You should not, you know, even if the woman is not cheating, they should not just imagine that the woman is seeing somebody. But they think that they have the right oh, to do she, everything. We, we talk about this one in both sides. Yes. You know, well, okay, what are those signs a woman should look out for? This is woman to woman after all. It is our show. When you people get to guys hang out, <laughs> you can counter what we are saying. <laughs> you know, what are those telltale signs a woman should look out for to say, Kai? This guy don't enter town, you know? No, there are a lot of things that men do that will make a woman know that this man is no longer there. Mm -hmm. One is keeping late. Keeping late. Uh, some can yeah. genuinely, like this kind of work now, somebody can afford to close like 12 a.m. It's understandable when it's your nature of, when it's the nature uh -huh. of your So job. it's not all the time? No, what I mean keeping late, you know that this person closes from work by 4 o'clock. Okay. And usually the person comes home 5, 6, person is already at home. So the person already coming home. 12 a.m. Okay. 11 p.m. Even one. And when the person comes, ah, well, what keeps you late? The person will start fighting you. So you know there's problems. For showing care, for calling him to know, are you okay? Why are you late? Why are you disturbing? Why are you, Why are you monitoring me? me? Why are you monitoring, monitoring me? Spirits. So they, they, you see this defensive character in there. Okay, so when the man exhibits defensive, defensive character, character, that's one defensive okay. character. So what else then should they look they, for? So the next thing, they will, sometimes they will be the first to start accusing you. Okay. They'll be accusing you. Okay. So when okay. the woman just calls, it's okay, you are calling me to know your answer that you can go and do, no? No, but don't even feel whether they are the ones that are guilty. Okay. Attention will be shifted. The way the man used to care, concerned about every details in the home, you see, the attention will be given. They will not care anymore. They will not care. Because somebody else is giving them attention, or they are giving attention to somebody else outside. So they don't longer care what is going on in the home. They don't care. They don't damn the consequences of whatever will happen for the negligence, for their carelessness in their home. They don't care anymore. Because their own attention, their, all, the, all of their attention is not being channeled to somebody else. The woman was telling that something is going on. Some, something is fishing okay. in there. Maybe your husband used to call you. I don't know if a woman that her husband used to call her on a regular basis at work. How are you doing? How is work? How everything? How are you doing? How is work? Ah, your husband is good. Suddenly, the man stopped calling her. One week, two weeks. Before she knew it, the man 
has gotten married to somebody else. Secretly or sometimes? Secretly. Most times. It starts like that. But most times the women are helpless. There's nothing they can do to change it except to pray. And pray that God should touch their hearts. <laughs> because there's nothing anyone can do. It's an adult. <laughs> he had decided to start going out. Okay, so after he has gone out to make babies with other women or something. Now, I want to look at this cheating. Are you sure women are not the problems of women? Because when you know that a man is happily married, happily so married, and then you will entice him, uh. and then you will seduce him, and then you use all those, your pussycat eyes and all of that to catch the man, and then because of you, the man will not be treating another sister so bad. Okay. I don't know. Are you sure we are not the problem of ourselves? I keep saying one thing. That Tell it me. takes two to tango. Okay. If a man is a flirting with you, they want to flirt with you, if you don't give the man attention, there won't be adultery, there won't be cheating. Okay. Two, if a woman too does not, but most times the women are more interested in married men. The ones that are caring. Ah. The ones that are caring. I don't Maybe they that. go to a uh, supermarket <laughs> and they yes. uh, see that the, see the, the, man, is the man is going to the wife, spending. They will just target the man and start following the man. I've seen people saying that this is what they experience. Young, young ladies, that's, that's what they want to do. Sometimes the, the people you call your friend, the people you call your friend, ah, my friend, ah, he's very good, he's my friend, uh, talking with you. Before you know it, they will collect us back from you. So the, actually, the major problem of women is women. I talk on. It's women. Because it's if the women, if the man decides to talk to 10 women, and none of these women answer him, he will go back to his wife. But I bet if he speaks to 10 women, nine and a half will answer him. If 10 of them refuse to answer him, if he talks to 10 women, he will employ the use of... Uh, his finance to get there. I know women like money. It's not money. everybody you can entice with Women material like things. money. But it's not everybody. 99.9999% of <laughs> women it's like not money. not everybody you can entice with Okay, why do women things. why do women cheat? It's a lack of contentment. Some of them they may have they, they you say that they are married to men that this there was a video that was flying recently of a woman who was confessing in the church that um, the four children she has, she, she claimed to have for her husband. And not for the man. And not for the man. That the four children are for the boy that came to save her husband. You see, woman. You can imagine that. Okay, you see, so woman. Me, for somebody to come and save her husband means that the man is where to do. Means that the man is doing where he needs to Is the man, is the man, um, how do you say it? Is the man sterile? The man is <laughs> maybe maybe she, was, maybe she was trying to help the man. Maybe she discovered that the man is sterile and decided to help the man. We have seen a lot of women like that. Did the man ask you to case. help him? It's not in that case. He hmm? only said that the man is not sleeping with her way. So for that, hey, is it not the same thing? Is it not the same ten and ten pence? Yeah, he's sleeping with her way is maybe different from. You know, no. Let me just let me just come in here now and talk to some women. You see. Uh, every man is not the same. Yes. Perhaps you are so lucky to marry a man who is sterile. He can still make babies, for goodness sake. There are ways about it. There are alternative conception. Instead of disgracing your village people and embarrassing your family, and then later you now say you were trying to... You know, there was this woman that said she was trying to help the husband she when she discovered that the husband was, uh, was uh, uh, infertile or sterile, as the case may be. She was trying to help the husband. That's why she just entered town and started, you know, bringing children See, people, home. One thing Discuss it realize, with the man. If the man say yes... To realize, people just make up excuses to sleep with other men no for anything they want to do that is not right for anything that is not that they want to do that is not right they want to make ask, okay they want to they give want you to reason why it. Just, that they was just want this eh, i did it because of this i did it because of this. what truly it's not always so i i, I think i should bring um, a, a a doctor that will come and talk to women on alternative Conception or alternative. The women are talking about are for those who are unable to impregnate women, but there are some. 
that can impregnate a woman. Mm -hmm. You will see a woman having four children for a man. You tell you it's only one that belongs to the to man. The man. That's wickedness. Wickedness in a, in its entirety. And the one thing the gay that has contributed largely to this indecent character in women is social media. Mm -hmm. You need to see how married women are the ones making advances to other guys. Uh -huh, now, now them be the, is it not Gen Z's we call so them? A lot of things. They, so women, so women, they are the one, they are the problem. So, so how do we go? Out? How do we? How do we curb this? We know that we cannot. If, if you say we want to eradicate it, mm -mm, Eradication. I'm sure it's uh, that's just impossible. So how do we curb it? How do we curb cheating in a relationship? Reduce it to its minutest minimum. This thing with the social we? media, with the advent of social media, it will be very difficult. So are you saying we should not use, do social media again? We should do social, so social media, like I say, is like a market. Okay. It's what you put in there that you want to see that you get. So how do we, how do we curb it? Just tell me in, in 30 seconds, how do we curb it? I don't really know. I don't know. Okay. My guest does not know <laughs> how we will curb because it. Because the thing so is alarming. Meaning, is alarming. meaning we leave everything it's, in the it's hands it's of alarming, God. It's alarming. Well, curb it if you can, if you want to train your children well. Okay. Married woman who is cheating. Remember, you have daughters. Your daughters your are looking children. at you. You are training your children in the way they should grow. And when they grow, they will not depart from it. That is just it. We'll see you again next week on Woman to Woman. Thank you, Dokas. You're welcome. Bye-bye.